Hello, I hope everyone's doing well. It was just announced that the Northern Overture event will be added to War Archives. So this means we'll have Russian ships permanently available, uh, more than just Aurora or Avora. Uh, in terms of ships this event, I wouldn't, I would just say wait. I would just save your cubes. There's no one in here that's too crazy. This is kind of an old event. Um, it first ran in 2020, so not too long ago, you know, year two or so. But I, I wouldn't go too crazy pulling on this event. I would say, honestly, the best ship is the one that's from the map drop, that being Chapev. So then you can just farm her. And there's also a good light cruiser gun there as well. But in terms of things to farm in the stages, you can get Chapayev from B3, D3, there will be SB. And then you can get Minsk, an elite destroyer from A3 and C3. In terms of drops, nothing too crazy. You can get the improved boiler and the toolkit, get a CAAP gun. Get a HE gun, BB gun. Get Arc Royal and Saratoga, that's nice, from D2. Also get the Steam Catapult and uh, the Tenzin. So it's not bad options here, honestly, from D2. But D3, I would say probably if you're going to farm this event, farm D3. You can get the triple 152mm Mark V. Hold up a second, and you get chop I have. And so, this is a light cruiser gun. It's one of the better light cruiser HE guns. It alongside the Seattle gun is probably the best two that I'm aware of. Yeah, so that's that's the main thing you're gonna farm for is those two things on D3. Everything else you can get elsewhere, you can get for the main stages. Go on to ships. I'll try to keep this brief without rambling too much. Uh, so let's go Russia. Yeah, special fires extra barrage. Yeah, she's, she's nothing too crazy. She uh she buffs herself if she has a bunch of Northern Parliament or Dragon Empire ships in the same fleet, so Russian or Chinese fleet, and then she gets up to twenty percent accuracy or twenty percent. Yeah, 20% accuracy and firepower. And only works with first two battles of each short sortie this ship takes part in. So this, if you have her in the mob fleet, this will not last the entire encounter. So probably better for boss fleets. The main one you want to go for from farming is Chapev. She has special barrage and inflicts burn. That's okay. Gets buff crit rate and deals more enemy more damage to DDs, and her main guns fire a little faster. Also, she makes enemy DDs less dodgy, which is pretty nice because they have pretty high avoid. Uh, she's got decent anti air stat. That's not too bad. And then we have Toshkent. I would say for pull ships, this is probably the only other one you'll want to go for because you can farm Chapev. That wise, she's nothing too crazy. Uh, she got decent anti submarine, but she can plus firepower, and she has a summon that lowers enemy speed. And then when she sinks enemies, she gets more firepower buff. So she's definitely the a firepower like a gun focused destroyer, yeah, gunboat if you will, and she gets more game, main gun efficiency. And accuracy for all your Northern Parliament DDs that have a main gun equipped. Northern Parliament main gun equipped, so that's nice. So there's a gun that was in the shop for her, the uh, Twin 130. I think you can get it in the gear lab. They'll probably add it to one of the shops, where whether it be the uh, Cordata shop or whatever, it need like one a month. But yeah, so I would say Tashkent's probably the other one you will, if you're going to pull, go for Tashkent. Otherwise, eh. I believe her Muse alt is still, yeah, so you can also get her Muse alt in the light pool. I think her Muse alt is just better. So, uh, Ganga, this was a 
points accumulation chip. So she'll probably add to the merit shop or the core data shop, one of those two. That seems to be where these types of chips are being sent. The uh, accumulation chips. She buffs all your Northern Parliament ships when she fires her main guns. So it would probably be a good idea to have a quick firing main gun. And she gets an extra buff if she has a specific, specific gun on her. That being the triple 305mm pattern 19.7. And then she gets extra main gun efficiency, which that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, I would not use this gun. I would, uh, I would not use this gun. I would forgo the main gun efficiency and the fast reload for something better. And then once per battle, she takes less damage, and if she falls below 30%, and decreases your destroyer's damage taken by 10%. So that's nice. If you have her and she's weakened, she can help your destroyers out. My personal favorite ship in this event, as you can see, she's sitting in the background with her retrofit art, is Pilot Mercuria. Uh, she's often used in the live streams as a VTuber type deal, where she'll talk about stuff and do little funny skits and do activities, and it's, it's good fun. Good fun. She's a silly goose. But other than that bias, she's okay. Not great firepower. Uh, she is a ship that is pre-World War One or World War One era. So her stats somewhat reflect that. Yeah, she gets a big buff if she's retrofitted, so I would get that. Uh, the ASW is terrible. Anti-air is not great. Torpedo is not great. Firepower is not great. So, I like her. I don't really use her, but she's nice. But I would not waste Q spoiling for her. I believe the Chinese anniversary is coming up, so there'll probably be some big banner for that. I'd probably hold and wait for that, would be my advice. Rosny, it's a destroyer. Nothing too crazy. I assume she's in the same vein as Tashkent, which is firepower. But I would just not. And then Minsk, the dropship from uh, D2, I believe. Eh. Less damage from enemy DDs, but you fight a lot of cruisers and battleships and especially aircraft carriers later on. So that's not going to help you a whole lot. And the smoke screen's nice. Doesn't sack with those smoke screens. But yeah, it's whatever. I would say probably, unless you're really flush with cubes, probably skip this for archive in terms of pulling. Uh, they'll. All these will add to the pool later, so you can pull them on a different banner. But yeah, and then Chopev, I'd say it's worthwhile farming her and her gun from D3. You can get her from B3, but you cannot get that uh the gold gun. So I'd say if you can do it, go for D3. Yeah, overall, uh, nothing too special here. It's an older event. Not a huge fan, but... It's just some of the pad time. Till next time. I was hoping we would be getting the Aurora Noctis event because that event originally ran a week after it did in JP and CN, and the rerun was the same time for all servers. And JP just got announced that Aurora Noctis we had to War Archives. So I was hoping we'd get the same time, but we didn't. It is what it is. All right. I hope you enjoyed. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.